Good day, and welcome to Currencies Direct weekly podcast for Monday, the 9th of May. Yet another week has passed, with the local unit ending it weaker than we had started, closing near on 2% weaker. The Rand has now lost close on 9% in the past three weeks, which has seen the currency earn the unwanted title of worst performing emerging market currency. Last week, all the focus was on the US Fed and how the central bank would tackle soaring inflation. Chair Jerome Powell took to the podium on Wednesday evening when he announced the central bank would increase interest rates by 0.5%, a move that was much anticipated. The single largest increase in the past 20 years did not surprise global markets. However, a more dovish tone by Powell saw the US dollar hand over some of its gains shortly after. Powell seemingly dismissed any chances of a 75 basis point hike for June, also further going on to write off any chances of a recession in the United States. The hiking cycle in the US could see interest rates reach 2.75% at year end, a lot more than what is anticipated in both the UK and EU. The result of which has seen the US dollar flex its muscles reaching 1.05 against the euro, its strongest level in more than five years. Across the pond, the Bank of England also joined the party as they followed the Fed's lead, hiking interest rates by 0.25% on Thursday. The decision triggered a minor collapse in the pound, markets fear of a possible recession in the UK. Between the war in Ukraine, strict lockdown measures in China, and tight monetary policy positions by global central banks, it's difficult to see a sharp turnaround for our beloved rand. With little on the calendar this week, the local unit will be hoping to see a shift in sentiment in order to recover some of its lost ground. That's it for this week's edition. If you'd like to chat about any of your currency requirements, Please get in touch with us on 021-418-0105. For Currencies Direct weekly podcast, my name is Justin Ludovic.